All right, guys, I've got the H10 Pro fired up again. I wanted to do one last job with it and review on it. I highly recommend this leak detector. I replaced the air handler on this Rude 410A system about two years ago. And I came out the other day and it was low on refrigerant. So I came back today to do a leak check and I didn't find any leaks on my ICP evaporator. But if you watch when I go right back here, and I pull away, you can see it stops, slows down. I'll go back to it one more time for y'all. There it is. So we're going to recommend a, I believe this is a two ton, yep, a two, a two, uh, a two ton heat pump from 06. I'm going to recommend a new connector since it's 410A and I've already replaced the air handler. One more time just for shits and giggles. There it is. I think it might be on the coil too, on the coil itself. Yeah, it's picking up a little bit right here on the evapor, I mean on the condenser coil, I'm sorry. Yep. See how it speeds up? Right in this area here. Oh yeah, look at that. There's another one. All right, well, it's not under warranty 2006. Even if it had a 10-year warranty, the warranty would have been up in 16. So he's going to be better off just going with a new heat pump. Hey, guys. All right, that call we just left with the... Uh... You have to excuse my seatbelt dinging in my uh, GPS. But the call we just left ended up uh, getting approved for a condenser change out. So... Now I'm headed over to that to that same guy to his mother's house. I put her system in oh probably three months ago, maybe. A brand new ICP system. Well, she says the unit's fine, but her son, the guy that I just sold a condenser to, is saying that when he goes over there, he feels like it's not pulling the humidity out and it's sticky and says that the old unit did a better job. The reason that we replaced the existing unit, the, the, the old existing unit was because the compressor had blew its terminals and it was an old, old system. It was gummed up with stop leak and stuff like that. We, we did clean all that out though. So I'm actually here now. We're gonna go just check refrigerant pressures. I'm gonna get some humidity readings inside, see you know if if he's got a leg to stand on or not, and we'll uh, we'll take you guys along for that. All right, guys, got an NXA4 to straight cool. She did not want a heat pump. Uh, I highly recommended one, but she wouldn't do it. Target subcooling is 13. We're at about 16 with 13 on the superheat. That's that's not bad. I mean that's that's within three degrees. Uh I mean I might I can remove a little bit, try to get it down to exactly 13, but I'm gonna go check humidity. Uh what the humidity is inside, but I really don't see anything wrong with that. The system is cooling, feels really good in the house. See now my subcooling has dropped to 14, so I actually don't think I'm gonna mess with it. Superheat's down to 12, so the expansion valve is working. You have an expansion valve on the system, and it's working fine. Um, I'm going to go inside and check some humidity. All right, guys, I couldn't get any shots inside because she was right there with me, but we're down to 14 degrees of subcooling with 11 on the superheat. The system is doing everything it can do. It's a five-ton system on a house that really needs about six, six and a half tons. 
and I told her this when we put the unit in, I told her that we needed to add a second system for the back of the house. And she didn't want to do it. Uh, she didn't want to spend the money. I gave her two quotes. She chose to go with one five ton unit. Now granted that the house is big for a five ton machine, it is holding the temperature where she sets it. She's got it set on 70. The thermostat is at 70. The unit actually cycled off a few minutes ago. The humidity is running between 49 and 52 percent. Uh, this is a single stage 14 sear system. So that's not bad. That's pretty good humidity levels for that for that and for the size house. So there's really not anything more that I can do to this unit. I told her if she wanted it any cooler that we would have to, you know, go right over there or right here where I'm sitting or over or over there and add a little ton and a half uh, split system to control the back side of the house because the back side of the house alone is five bedrooms. And I told her that we would have to tie those bedrooms onto its own system. And I told her that when I gave the price to replace this, she declined it. She just declined it again uh, because she says she's probably going to move out because she's an elderly lady and the house is a lot for her. But she had to replace the system because the old one died on her. Uh, but that's all I can do. You know, I can only give my recommendation and whether they go with it or not, that's up to them. So, all right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Guys, we'll see you all on the next one.